grew up in Kingsport, Tennessee, in East Tennessee, small town, uh, about two and a half hours from Shelby. Went to the medical school at University of South Carolina in Columbia. So that's where I'd also gone to undergraduate school. So I was in the military for a brief stint in between the two. We decided to go back to USC because it was a good place and I liked it. So. Well, uh, Cleveland County is actually uh, geometrically central to where I grew up and to where my spouse's family grew up. So it was a good central location uh, for us. We wanted to stay in the Carolinas and uh, this seemed to be a really good uh, community. It was a nice sized town because it was it had a small town feel to it, but yet it was, cl it was close enough to the bigger cities like Charlotte that you could get away and do the things that you want to do in the big city without having to live in the with the big city conditions. So uh, we were really satisfied to come here and uh, it's just been a real pleasant experience. I mean, we're close to the mountains and we're close to the beach and um, so, you know, we, you can do a lot of things here. So we've been pretty satisfied. Uh, you could be, I like to snowboard in, the, in the, this time of year and we could actually be in about an hour and a half be uh, on the, at one of the local ski resorts. So, uh, you know, within 90 minutes pretty easily. So. And as far as the beach, I guess the closest is Charleston, which is about a three and a half hour drive. So it's not too bad. I'm a big water person and uh, so I live on Moss Lake and uh, so I like to water ski and, and wakeboard and, and uh, tubing and all those fun things that you could do. Our kids are really into uh, those kind of boating activities too. So in the summer that, that's you know, what we spend a lot of time doing. Also uh, some of the sports I like to do fishing and, and hunting and this is actually pretty close to a lot of opportunities around here for that. So. Um, you know, it's got a good mix of different events. If you're more of a, a cultural person, uh, you know, the Charlotte Symphony, I've gone to that a few times, it's not that far away. And um, so, it's, you know, there's plenty of things to do like that. We really do see some interesting uh, cases in this area. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but for whatever reason, we see some really interesting cases. And um, uh, I was really surprised. I thought when I came here, it'd be pretty much just simple stuff, but we see some really advanced diseases good representation of a wide variety and spectrum of illnesses and um, to me it's very interesting and fascinating and of course as a general pathologist a lot of those or some of those cases I can't handle myself but I have a good working relationship with a lot of the national experts in whatever field there is so I'm able to get you know assistance when needed pretty easily but um, the primary care base here is really good it's well developed uh, I think the consultants here are really um, well developed and, and have good working relationships with all the specialties. Um, when I first came here I was surprised <clears throat> at how diverse and experienced the medical staff was. Uh, I you know I feel like I was pretty well tra trained but when I came here I certainly felt like I was you know by no means uh, you know I, I, there were plenty of people who, who had obviously a lot more training a lot more experience than I did so I was really pleased to join this medical staff and, and realize that's what was here and available. But the, the hospital has been really good about working with uh, contract physicians like myself to, uh, you know, they, they support us with equipment, with resources, with personnel. So, uh, you know, they let us do the job that we need to do and it really makes it uh, a good working relationship. Uh, the uh, Cleveland County schools are very similar to the schools that I grew up in when I was uh, in the education process and so it's very similar. Um, my uh, oldest one is in high school at Kings Mountain High School now, which is, as you probably know, has been rated by U.S. News and World Report as one of the uh, premier high schools in, in the country. So that has actually worked out pretty good. Um, you know, I feel like my, my wife was a teacher and was intimately familiar with the educational process, and she had been very satisfied with the, the education that the children are, are receiving. So, you know, I think we've been pretty happy. There's some outside activities that my children participate in. Uh, they're interested in uh, the, the scouting program and the uh, local martial arts program and uh, some of the school activities like running club and things like that. So, yeah, I think that's part, partly an advantage of being affiliated with a large system is that we're able to kind of reap the benefits from the economies of scale. For instance, the buying contracts and purchasing agreements that the larger hospitals have, we're able to take advantage and exploit that and get some of the better equipment that here that we probably wouldn't normally be able to afford if we were just a freestanding this size community hospital. Well, uh, this is really a family-oriented community. There's uh, a lot of really professional or areas for professional opportunities for development and growth. Uh, the uh, patient mix is really interesting. Uh, my colleagues are really professionals. Um, I've been really satisfied having been here nine years now 
Um, I just, you know, hope there's many more years like that to come.